Mr. Vice President, Your Excellency, I know that today we are battling with a very high interest rate. This interest rate is now saying that we should fight uh, inflation. Uh, I'm not an economist. I'm just a local businessman. But, Your Excellency, the other countries, why did they jack up interest rates? Because during COVID, the G7 countries pumped money into their economies to the tune of 18.9 trillion. So their economies were over, you know, I mean, they were over, you know, uh, uh, they were evaporated with so many things. So there are so much of money chasing few goods. So if you have so much of money chain, I mean, chasing fewer goods, it means that everything is going to go up. But Your Excellency, during COVID, we did not, and I repeat, we did not reflect any economy at all. We didn't do anything. The only thing that we did was sharing of palliatives. I'm not talking about Nigeria now. I'm talking about Africa in general. There's no any African country that came. Maybe some few have actually given lower interest rates. But right now, Your Excellency, at 30%, there's no way anybody can create jobs. If interest rate is 30%, there won't be any job creation because we're actually stifling growth. So interest rate can remain 30, but then no growth will happen unless that interest rate goes down. Indeed, the rich also cry. The chicken has finally come home to roost. It's pleasing seeing the so-called elite in Nigeria crying over bad government policies. It means they are not excluded from bad government. Bad government will touch everybody, irrespective of who you are. I remember vividly when Peter B was campaigning. He says, bad government knows no tribe. Bad government does not know whether you are Hausa, Igbo or Yoruba. It doesn't know if you are Muslim, Christian or a traditionalist. It will touch everybody. because. There is no way that the Muslims travel on a well-paved road and the Christians travel on a bad road. There is no way where the Muslims buy bread cheaper and the Christians buy bread higher. It touches everybody. Ever since Bola Tinubu became the president, Dangote has been lamenting. Come on, it's okay for everybody to lament, but we are talking about the richest man in Nigeria lamenting. Then imagine the pains and the lamentation of the average Nigerians. I don't feel for him though. Why we were going from one place to another, canvassing for vote, asking people to vote for a competent candidate. Dangote's voice was nowhere to be heard. He is only crying now because he has been affected. Where was he when Nigerians were lamenting the high cost of living, the insecurity, the hunger in the land? Where was he? Where? That does not take away the facts from what he's saying. He's speaking the absolute truth. Now let's take a look at what Dangote is saying. In a bid to control inflation, the Central Bank of Nigeria raised the interest rate from 18.5% under President Wamadu Buhari to the current 30%. What this means is that when manufacturers, the business owners, they go to borrow money, they now pay more in interest rate than they used to pay under President Wamadu Buhari. Of course, it was 11% under Gulok Ebele Jonathan. Buari took it to 18%. Now let's break it down for clarity's sake. For instance, under Guloke Bele Jonathan, when you go to the bank to borrow 1 million naira, your interest rate will be 115,000 naira. Under President Muhammadu Buari, the interest rate will be 185,000 naira with that same 1 million. Under President Bola Tinibu, you are paying 300,000 naira. Yes. You see how it has increased from Gulok Ebele Jonathan to President Muhammad Dubari to Bola Tinibu. Did you see the gap that Tinibu took the interest rate to? That is absolutely outrageous. And that is the reason why everything in the market has gone up in price. It is not the dollar rate. We will come back to that. As far back as February 2024, when the Central Bank of Nigeria raised the interest rate to 26.5%, Mr. Peter B of the Labour Party raised an alarm regarding the high rate of interest rate, how it will affect Nigeria economic activities and also cause 
unemployment in the country. Now let me read you the words of Mr. Pitobi as he puts it verbatim. He started off by saying this in quotes. Let me confess that the labor of being a vintage onisha based trader does not in any way confer on me the status of an economic expert. With my vast trading knowledge and my involvement in the real sector, I am of a strong opinion that the recent decision of the Monetary Policy Committee to increase the Monetary Policy Rate MPR, to 22.5% and the Cash Reserve Ratio CRR, to 45% will further worsen the economic situation of most Nigerians' households as it is bound to cause more job loses in the productive sector. I want you to take note of the word job loses especially manufacturing and other sectors that rely on bank loans and credit facilities for their funding needs. Tightening liquidity in the financial system does not improve productivity, i.e. food production, which is the major cause of inflation in Nigeria. Moreover, only about 12% of 3.6 trillion naira of the total money in circulation is in the banking system, which means that 88% about 3.2 trillion is outside the banking system. So this measure could rather be counterproductive as it will not address the intended purpose of managing the money supply. These new measures will worsen the fragile economy as the supply of funds will dry up for the real sector and the new MPR rate hike will push the interest rate on loans to above 30%. Now listen, P2B said this in on February 29, when the interest rate was 22%, he predicted that the interest rate will rise to 30%. Today, that interest rate has risen to 30%. That is why Dangote is complaining. Let's continue. He said, which will be very difficult for the real sector operators, especially manufacturers and SMEs to repay, resulting obviously in increase in bad loans and worsening the nation's economic situation. B2B did not just end at criticizing their interest rate, he went on to advise them on what to do. And he said, the most critical way to manage our high rate of inflation and decline in production is for the government to address the issue of insecurity in the country, which will allow for increased food and crude oil production and an overall increase in production, which will make product, especially food, cheaper. This way, we will increase our productivity as well as restore the confidence of FDIs and FBIs to come back to the country. I must caution that what the Nigerian economy needs now is high-headed practical originality and result. Tinkering with classical economic theories can only deepen our crisis. Did you listen to his words carefully? Everything that P2B said is what Dangote is facing today, is what Dangote is lamenting today. When P2B was saying all those things, they said he's crying because he lost the election. Now, I wonder what they, they are going to tell Dangote. Dangote is a manufacturer and he's in the real sector. Whatever he's saying now is what he's facing. It has touched him, but he don't tell him. The Renew Hope has shown him Renew Shege and he's crying. Now let us go to the impact of this interest rate and why Dangote is lamenting. When a manufacturer pays outrageous interest rates, he passes it to the final consumer. The cost of production in 2022 before Tinibu took over has gone up times 5. These manufacturers will not bear the brunt of the cost of production. They will push it to the final consumers and you and I are the final consumers. That's why everything has gone up. Manufacturers are running at loss because the purchasing power of the people has been greatly reduced and they now resort to alternative. Of course, a lot of persons are going for alternative. Some persons, due to the high cost of tomatoes, they are now using cucumber to cook. They are now improvising to use other things in place of the high cost of items. Some of you have dumped your DSTV decoder because of the price increment. You have now gone for cheaper ones that are available in the market. Doing this is causing damages to the company or the manufacturers. Now, these are the companies that have left Nigeria since Bola Tinibu became the president. They cited a high cost of running business as their sole reason of leaving the country. 
Of course, some of them attributed it to insecurity as well. You can now see that the dollar rate that most of you are crying is not the reason why the price of things in the market are high. That's why some of you, when the dollar rate comes and you, you are complaining that why isn't the price of goods in the market coming down? The reason why it's not coming down is because your president, Bola Metinibu, has increased the interest rate. This is happening because your government is visionless. They were trying to control inflation, but they did not think about growth. If they had listened to Mr. Peter B, they wouldn't have been in this mess they are today. It shows you that leadership is everything. And that is why you must all take leadership as a very critical component of your life. When you go out to vote, when you want to choose your leader, you choose someone that is competent, you choose someone that has character, you choose someone that has track record. You don't vote for somebody because the person tells you it is my turn, because the person tells you it is a miloko. You don't vote for somebody because the person came from your tribe. Everyone that is being affected, irrespective of the tribe you came from. The southwest region of Nigeria, they are not enjoying life more than the other part of the country. In fact, they are even suffering it more because they've been the one that have been crying. So why not take voting and leadership as something that your life depends on? Why will you all have to sacrifice the most important aspect of your life on the basis of tribalism and ethnicity? Nigerians are going through hell today because they failed to elect credible leader. Imagine Peter be as a president with what he spoke in February. Do you think he's going to allow the manufacturers and the business owners in this country to go through the pain they are going through because they want to control inflation? P2B would have gone to the board and solved the problem. But Tinibu is raising the interest rate. Because why? He needs more money. More money to do what? I don't know because the money is not coming back to the economy. If the money that he's raising all this while, the one that he's, he's getting from customs and every other taxes he has introduced, if that money is being pushed back to the economy, I can tell you for a fact that Nigeria will not be where it is today. We will not be suffering this economic crunch we are suffering today. Only God knows where Bola Medidibu is keeping the money. But where? Kudos to you all Nigerians. You voted him to power. You supported him and you are keeping silent while he's doing what he's doing. Look at what Kenyans are doing. They are even protesting that their president will go. Can this happen in Nigeria? Only God knows. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.